Welcome to Outdoor USA. Today I'm going to be in the sunny state of Florida. No, not sun tanning on the beach and not going after the largemouth bass. I'm going to be hunting alligators and I have a very special guest. I think you've seen a few other times. Hey, Mark, here you are. Hey, baby. And this is what we're going after. Alligator. Oh, oh your head fits right in there. Perfect. Hey, we're going to be right back before the gator crunches Mark's head like a potato chip. For over 50 years, Star Financial Bank has been in the business of making loans. We have the professionals to take care of all your lending needs, and we make decisions quickly because we make decisions locally. Whether you need a commercial loan, a mortgage loan, an installment loan, or a credit card, see a loan professional at Star Financial Bank today. We're Star Financial Bank, proud to be Hoosier owned and operated with six Grant County locations to serve you. Star Financial Bank, an equal opportunity lender. While visiting Fairmount, fill up with Marathon Gasoline and take care of those quick grocery needs at the One Stop Convenience Store. We deliver Marathon Gasoline, Fuel Oil, Motor Oil, and Kerosene for your home or business needs. We guarantee quick delivery and friendly service. Whether you're getting bundled up for winter or just ready to plant those spring crops, call us for all your fuel needs. Marathon an American company serving America. Hi, I'm Piper the Owl. Be pipeline smart, be pipeline safe. You might fly over all our 200,000 miles of pipeline and never find a leak. But if you did, a sharp eye would spot a spill, a cloud, or vegetation that didn't look right. You might smell something unusual or hear a strange sound. If any of these things happen, avoid making sparks, leave quickly on foot, and call the police, other authorities, and pipeline companies. Remember this word to the wise. Be pipeline smart. Be pipeline safe. There's our guys. There we are. <laughs> the Gator Men. Hi, guys. Hi, Mark. Sir. Cliff. My name's Bill. Bill. Billy, I think I talked to you several times Gary. on the phone. Gary. 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 Nice Mitch, I think you're uh, part, part of Billy there, aren't you? This is Mark. Uh, so what are we going to do uh, today? We're going to just head straight out to the glades? or? Well, I thought we'd ride out while the sun's up and it's good and warm, and uh, we'll uh, see if we can catch them up sunning. The, they get they're, since they're a cold-blooded animal, the sun's pretty, pretty vital to them. And any time it's good and warm like this, we can probably catch quite a few up sunning. And then uh, maybe later on this evening, as it gets darker, we can get on the airboats. And now, now, which one of you guys is going to reach out for the viewing audience out there and grab it by hand? <laughs> is it, it going to be little, Mark? That's my little bulldog. Oh, the bulldog. Yeah! <laughs> this is our gym of Mutual of Omaha. That's right. right? Yeah, Gary's my <laughs> agent trapper. <laughs> you going to put some shoes on, or is that the last time we'll see your feet? No, nope. they'll get wet if I put them on. All right. <laughs> well, if they teach me right out there, I'm going to try to reach in there and get a hold of one of these gators later, too. And then Mark said he would, too, right? Yeah, you're sick. You need help. <laughs> All right. Should we get on this? Hey, well, we're, we're going to take off in the trucks then, and, and we're going to try to get some of these gators sun and then, then get into the the water a little later. Get some action later on. Okay. Team Hobble, right inside of here. Yeah, I was wondering, uh... <laughs> Well, I, like you said, a six footer is a, like a prime, a prime uh, catch, right? Um, actually, seven feet and over is what they're looking for as far as height goes. Yeah. Um, as far as uh, meat processors concerned, uh, a six or seven footers. And you get how much per foot uh, on the on the skin itself? It, it varies from year to year. The market. Uh, fluctuates about like any any market, mm -hmm. but we we do pretty good. Like a six foot class gator will range from anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars a foot, depending on how the market's going. Right, and then the, and then the meat you, you sell, and and you and what what does the meat taste like? If you had to compare it, I've heard a lot of people compare it to Chicken. a lot of different things. No. It tastes like gator. Yeah, like, like, right up there. like gator, right? right. Right. Yeah. And, and it's really good. Very good. Very good. Mhm. Mm okay. Now the age-old question is this: the difference between an alligator and a crocodile is? Well, an alligator, 
hinges on his bottom jaw. Mm -hmm. And a crocodile hinges on his top jaw. His top jaw hinges up. I see. An alligator's bottom jaw hinges down. And on a croc, his bill is a little more narrow, and their teeth are a lot. They have a more prominent tooth on the bottom, right? Right. They're, they're not uniform. They'll, they'll stick out of his mouth in funny angles. Right. They're uh, kind of like a shark. Uh, a croc, a uh, gator's teeth, are all right in a nice, nice row. Mm -hmm. And a, a crocodile, his teeth would be, they grow at funny angles. And, you know, you, you know, if you ever look at an alligator and a, a crocodile, like in a cyclopedia, right. and you look at their head, you can see what I'm talking about, the difference. But the main thing is, as a gator hinges <laughs> on the bottom like and a croc hinges on the top. You need a stick? So basically you're on a gator farm and you guys kind of mark these and, and that's basically what we're doing today. Mm-hmm. Well, we catch them and check them, see how this one's been, see where another alligator's tried to chew him in half. Uh-huh, now is that like the nine footers that might do that, Gary, or? Yeah, males, this might be a little female to try to get bred. Billy, bring your pot so knife you over you? here for a minute. Right. How do you touch it, man? I'll okay. touch it. You got one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's me, too, but I can't get mine out. <laughs> what, do you look busy? Bite on that. Yeah, a little busy. Just see where that skin is behind that bar. So that doesn't hurt them at all. It just kind of gets in there so you can bring them out. See that little skin behind that bar? Just hit it with your pocket knife one time. Get the top side of it. That way we're out of the yeah, right here, right? Perfect. Right there. Put it to sleep. Can you do Yeah. Go They're pretty now. tough, huh? <laughs> I don't know what it is. No, you're not going to be doing this. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Just no, one way. Just keep one stroking way. it real gently. As soon as tummy will collapse in. And that's the hole you check to see if it's a boy or a girl? Hey, we knew we'd touch an alligator, didn't we? Oh, no we? doubt. Just keep it. doing it. Just tell me to suck in. You want to touch it? Well, we haven't done it yet. All right, you can be the first one in the truck. Oh, so what, what are you going to do? <laughs> How are you going to get it back in? This is chunky. There you go. So it's another catch and release, another catch and release effort there by the barefoot alligator man. Yeah, this is fantastic down here in Florida. Things you're not going to see, alligators. I mean, this is a, Mark, what do you think? You see this out in L.A.? Uh, no, and I haven't seen them in Marion, Indiana. <laughs> I haven't seen them in Ohio. I haven't seen them anywhere on that area. This is amazing. Yeah. We touched the gator. I'm ready to wrestle them now after that three-footer. Are you kidding me? No, we get touched me. the gator. Close, though. <laughs> Now he only puts his shoes on, folks. Get a, get a shoe to shot him in feet there uh, when he goes to town. In other words, he runs around barefoot all the time. Of course, you can do that in sunny Florida, can't you? Yep. Don't get that cold. No, I only put them on when it gets cold, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and for doing this show, you'll get a free makeover from the Regis and Kathy Lee show. They're going to do your nails for you. Do my toenails for yeah. me? Well, we, we had him a hat, but he, he had to take it off there to, to catch that gator. Yeah, I had to. We'll get Camouflage. Him some, anybody out there watching want to want to help supply Gary with some shoes? Send in some donations. We'll put his number on the screen <laughs> to him. We'll get Gary some shoes. Size 12. Size 12, he says. Can we keep this gate open? Or yeah, I want to go through here. This this ditch is full of. Wait, did he say size 12? <laughs> Where was he the night of June 13th? Oh. Two years ago. Was he in California? He could be the guy. If he can take on an alligator. Does he have an interest in crocodiles as well? Um, they're they're more rare here, right? Yeah, we there's there's more now than they originally thought. Mm -hmm. uh, they're down in the Big Cypress Swamp. They have a pretty good colony of crocs, American crocs, and down in the Thousand Islands and, and such. But um, there's not a whole lot here, and they are heavily protected. They'll, they'll, I don't foresee them ever open any kind of a season on, uh -huh. on a crocodile. 
Mm -hmm. I know they have several different programs where they're trying to reintroduce the crop. Right. But I don't I don't know. I haven't talked to anybody and don't know the extent of all of that. Right. How big do you think that is, Gary? It's probably close to 30 pounds. I'll get you a close-up here in a minute. I got this shape and cut that line for me, will you? Put the line? Mm hmm. And like, who yeah. cares about alligators that you're in the water? Yeah, close to where, just don't let him get you. Do they bite? Oh, yeah. man. That's like a snapper. They do? Big yeah. soft shell. Yeah. Some kind of hang on to you. That's like a snapping pole. Don't stick your fingers close because he'll reach out there. See how his mouth is open? Yeah. What do you call them? Soft shells. Because it's soft. The old timers used to say they won't let go until a lightning storm. Until <laughs> <Till> the thunder. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's a long time to hang on. Get that neck up there and see. That I don't want the star on my show. Losing a finger? Losing a finger. Can they uh, take your finger off? That'll crush them. J Japan is buying all they can get from over here in the small ones, an aphrodisiac. Yeah. For real small ones. They're buying the big ones too, are they? Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing, man? <laughs> He'll flip himself back over pretty easy. Yeah. We're taking him home for supper. Really? Mm hmm. So he'll be in the back of the truck with you. Yeah. The rest of oh, the beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Find a good corner for him. <laughs> yeah, a good corner. Now, we'll alligators eat these guys, stay right? Stay put. Constantly. Constantly. Turtle, yeah. don't you move the corner and bother Mark while you're in the back of that truck. Yeah. But we're going to talk, man. Like two people have never talked before. You and me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do it with man. Now, how, what am I going to do in the back seat with him? Uh, see how he's got his mouth open? Yeah. Stay away from that end. There's a good idea. You and who got the well, as we were leaving, we were getting ready to drive around the reservoir uh, or the orange grove and kind of see some gators, and uh, we did that. Uh, Gary, won't you explain the method of how we was trying to catch them there? No, it was just a simple method of taking a snatch hook and getting one to cooperate and putting a hook in him. Yeah, real simple. <laughs> <laughs> real sim uh, we, we tried rubbing her belly a little bit. I think Billy was on there and, and uh, Mark and myself, and, and it didn't work. What, what's rubbing the belly do? Uh, you can sometimes put them to sleep, but that one must have been napping all day, and it <laughs> just wasn't tired. <laughs> we, we do want to explain to the viewers out there that Cliff up here on top does have an alligator farm, and so they go around. We're not being cruel to these animals. That's one of the ways you test them for the sex of them. And hey, Cliff, if you want, why don't you explain to the viewers out there a little bit what you do and and uh, the uh, the reason that you are a, an alligator or farmer or trapper or trapper. What uh main the main thing is the difference between this and a farm is we don't actually ever feed or take care of these gators. Um, they're left in the wild to kind of grow on their own and what we do, and do is we uh, try to manage them and by that I mean we control the population uh, by being selective in what we kill. Um, naturally the bigger gators eat so many of the hatchlings that the, when you control the size of the bigger gators you can increase the uh, amount of small gators that ever make it past four feet long. Um, yeah, I think you were mentioning us on, uh, when Cameron was off of how the nine-foot gators go around and eat the baby gators right. and get into the nests, and, and they're more of a nuisance or a, uh, I'd say putting the gator back on the endangered species list than, say, hunters are or alligator right. farmers. And we'll tell them the story about the tags. The um, how they tagged the little. They did a study in a big marsh in Gainesville, and they went around and they tagged as many of the hatchlings as they could with a little bitty metal tag mm -hmm. in the web of his foot. Um, of course, the 
in late October they killed a big boar gator and he has a double handful of these little metal tags in his. In hello, his hello. So they they figure that once a gator becomes close to nine feet or better, that his main diet becomes small gators. Right. So over the years here, my population has increased tremendously. It's more than tripled. When is alligator season exactly where you can actually hunt them? Um, the public hunt runs the month of September. Mm -hmm. um, as I'm a private wetlands trapper is actually my title. Our season runs May, June, and July, <clears throat> and then we hunt the entire month of September and October. And in the first part of the season, we concentrate on killing the bigger gators, nine foot and above. Um, in the latter part of the season, then we can go back in if the populations really increase that much. Um, we can, you know, take out some of the smaller size gators. So, yeah. Now, Billy, Billy, we're getting ready to head out into these airboats now, and if you would, will not you explain to the viewers out there a little bit of what these airboats do and, and what we're going to be doing this evening uh, under some uh, dark conditions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you do that, please? Yeah. Well, my son and I, Mitch Klein, here, we... we Can we hear from Mitch, please? Yeah. Everyone, Mitch! <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we build these airboats year-round for federal agencies, fishing, game, law enforcement, what have you. We got them in Texas, Louisiana, Maryland, Kansas, Florida. And we use them out helping the alligator farmers gather alligator eggs. And we take people out on the gator hunts during the gator hunting season. No. That system in Louisiana, they, uh, <clears throat> where we have worked for two or three years in a row helping the farmers out there. They go out and gather up the alligator eggs and they take them back to the hatchery and they hatch them and they can grow them to four foot long in captivity, mm -hmm. which is extremely well because the survival rate is really good. And then they're required by law to put back 17% in the marsh which is a better success ratio than leaving them in the marsh. Yeah, I think Cliff was telling me off camera that uh, like a percent is basically oh, what when right. they're hatched in the marsh. And in captivity, I mean in the wild, they're lucky to grow six inches a year about, and they have a tough time. It takes them a long time to get to three foot because of the fish and the eagles and the alligators. and Yeah, getting them coons, so you, anything that will get the eggs. create more really by putting them in captivity, raising them to four foot, turning them loose and they got a better chance of surviving. Okay. Now, Bert Reynolds told me when he was younger, he used to, to uh, go after alligators and then stick his finger in a hole and find out what gender it was. Now, <laughs> you guys, uh, you do that <laughs> in your spare time no. on Friday nights when you're bored? Or how does that work? <laughs> when we kill an alligator on the report form, we have to tell whether it's male or female. Right. And they, they just have two flaps of skin that close together, and you just spread it apart, and you can plainly see whether it's a male or a female. Right. Mark, uh, yeah. speaking of Burt Reynolds, won't you explain to the viewers out there what you're working on right now, and, yeah. and possibly uh, in, in, in connections for uh, Right. If you would. Well, uh, the next uh, movie, uh, you know, I did The Right to Remain Silent. We're talking about doing a sequel. Uh, we should find out shortly with Showtime, and then, uh, and then I'm working on a movie right now and trying to get uh, Burt Reynolds and John Voight back together called The Actor's Gavel. So uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and uh, he's, in, he's in California right now. I was hoping he'd be down here. But he's out there working on a movie, I believe, with Richard Dreyfuss. So. Well, this man does have some talent. He is very good at what he, what he does. And I think he should be nominated for an Oscar. And on that, we're going to go on a quick break and Whoa! Ask before the next gator hops in the bar, uh, boat and, and bites uh, Mark's right. foot. So I can't accept it. <laughs> I'd like to thank all the people for giving me this nomination, especially the alligator. <laughs> Took my hand off. Hey, let's not leave him out there. Okay? <laughs> we need this guy. This is good. Catch your limit of walleye and perch when you board the Mojo 2 for an exciting fishing trip on the beautiful, famous Lake Erie. A party of six can cast out for a fun-filled trip. All rods, reels, and baits are provided for each trip out. So make plans to join Coast Guard licensed Captain George Harris aboard his 27-foot sports craft. Call me, Captain George, 317-662-9783. Hello, my name's James, James Gump, 
but you can call me James. Mom always said buying a car is like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're going to get. Not true. Not at Mike Anderson Chevrolet Geo. There you buy the stuffed animal at their price. You get the vehicle at no additional charge. I like that deal so well, I bought two. That's Mike Anderson Chevrolet, and that's all I got to say about that. All you 50s fans looking for a cool place to eat just bebop over to yesterday's diner specializing in homemade meals fresh baked pies and our own hand breaded giant tenderloins and onion rings with an atmosphere that will take you back in time voted one of the most unique and favorite eateries in grant county it's a place you're sure to enjoy serving breakfast lunch and dinner monday through saturday 6 a.m to 8 p.m I'll tell you what, this here, Mark, has just been, been a blast. Now, that one is a little bit bigger than the last yeah, one, isn't it? Yeah, it is bigger. It is too. Hey, How big is that one? He's getting a little better. Look at that. Look at that. We got two gators over here. Yeah. About a three-footer. Oh, you can hear them chirping. Over there and let them lock like a board. What is he? Where do you, where do you get a hold of him at? So you want to you wanna take him back? Now, I'm not used to these gators. Look at catch and release. Catch and release. Now we should, have, release. should we let them go at the same time? Next? Now that one's bigger even, right? Yeah, we, yeah we'd like to get a, get a good light on him. And this is a sal gator. So, so later on, Cliff, I think you was talking about you'll, you'll have somebody out here that'll come and count these gators for you. Yeah, but, what we do is we bring an independent biologist in. Uh, <laughs> we ride around at night and shine as many alligators as we can and record the size of the alligator. And the fishing game has a formula and they take into account the air temperature and the water temperature and uh, the amount of vegetation you're in to account for how much of the area you can actually see very well. And they get a, they've got a general idea of how many alligators you've got by how many alligators you see. And they allow you to kill, I believe it's 10%. That's a, about a four, four and a half. <clears throat> Probably skin out about five foot. Get the light in his eye. He's, his eyes are adjusted to the dark. So as soon as you put the light right in his eye, he's blinded. And he can't see you. He really can't see anything. <laughs> and you try to grab him either right behind the head or catch him by his bill where he can't bite you. If you grabbed him around the middle, you'd be instantly bit. <laughs> <laughs> he would catch you yeah. immediately. This one here, Barefoot, and, and I seen him kind of twisting here with Cliff and you. Is that what you guys were talking to the audience earlier about what they do with their prey? Exactly. They twist and roll. That's He's trying to get away by using it because his whole body twists. Yeah. It's hard to stop him from twisting. That's why we've got both ends of him. This one's a little bigger than the ones we had before. <laughs> yeah, this one here is getting up to what? About the... Uh, four and a half, four and five foot. Four and a half, five foot. And that's... that's how I never, uh, How old is, is a gator that's, that's at the age? How, how do you determine the age on one like that? Um, they really don't have any good way of... of uh, determining their age exactly. Get him six they, years. Um, they've studied them long enough to know this gator's That's between six. three, four years old. Three and four years old. Yeah. Uh, it's a young gator. And, and they grow, gator. They grow pretty fast from a hatchling to about this size and then they'll slow down. Now what's a normal lifespan on a gator, would you? Mm -hmm. Don't they know. don't know. They don't know. There's nothing to stop the gator from living right on. They don't die of any known diseases. They don't have liver problems. They don't have coronary problems that we know of. Um, there's nothing to stop him except maybe about a 10-footer swallowing him. 
Yeah, once they, they from living. once they get past three feet, other than an alligator, they really don't have any other predators, right? Besides man. Actually, at besides two foot, man. Uh, two you don't have to worry about too much right. other than a, another gator. Yeah. Now, uh, you have t two guys are holding this thing, and if it was a 10-footer, we'd be in big trouble, right? I wouldn't try to catch a 10-footer by hand. You guys wouldn't, you'd be having hooks and net, lassos and the a whole A lot more thing. equipment. And t two guys probably couldn't hold a 10-footer. No. In the Not right circumstance, you can. We, we've actually tied up a 12-foot gator alive, but uh, we had Larry ropes and a was truck. Using, uh, now, wait a minute, what about Tarzan, though? Are you telling me that wasn't real? <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't, don't tell me uh, what I've been seeing is fake on television. No, Certainly. I wouldn't tell you that, but I'll tell you this one's not stuck. Okay. <laughs> Tarzan ain't nothing compared to Rock and Russ Dunn. He got riding over there with you. Yeah, he was, at, he was ready to get a... It looked like a big one. Seven, eight, eight foot. Let's go foot. get him. Too big. It looked like Let's a, go get him. Uh, I, I do want to tell the viewers out there, if you get to Florida and you, want, you need to get a hold of somebody with an airboat, and if you want to come down and hunt them, of course, Billy Klein. But if you got to get in the airboat and come out in these, these Everglades and, and experience a little bit of uh, the wilderness that's out here, what do you think? It's beautiful, especially when you got great guys like these. I mean, what a glasses <laughs> it's been. Really, truly. I mean, the stories they have that we haven't even been able to put on camera. Uh, that's why we call him Barefoot. He does not wear shoes unless he goes to the store, yeah. period. <laughs> <laughs> now, the tail is, uh, uh, is an equal weapon for the most part. Right. Once they get I bigger, I call it equal. I'm. Uh, you I'm prefer being on that side? Teeth out there. <laughs> <laughs> but I've had. We caught gators alive, and uh, a bigger gator, he sweep your feet out from under you without very much effort at all. Yeah. They can't really break your leg or something, or those just. Depends uh, on the size that, of it. Yeah. I wouldn't want a 12 footer to slap me in the leg with his tail. That would be fun. <laughs> and then they the take a lot of dogs down here, right? These gators. Yeah, they do. Um, if you talk to the old timers here in Florida, they'll tell you that's his favorite food is the dog. Yeah. How long does it take them? Do you know how long does it take them to actually digest something? Like, for instance, I, I know of a story in Australia once where a pig hunter went out and was eaten by like a big crocodile. They they got it the next day and cut open his stomach, and for the most part, he was there almost in whole. Well, flesh and stuff, it's 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 normal. Uh, it's no different than humans or any other animal. Mm -hmm. um, they have, we have found things inside the gator where he swallowed a small lightered snag or something and he won't digest it and it's too big for him to pass. Um, we don't know any problems that it causes, but you find stuff like that occasionally. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now you guys ate it, beer cans. Really? <laughs> They'll just eat anything, huh? <laughs> so that, that's See, what comes out in their belly, just they look like a billy goat. Wrist watches, wallets, you can get all that good stuff out of there. Your, your wedding band. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> yeah. get back up in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Join us next week for more Outdoor USA. So until Mark Rassel's the next gator, I'm Bill. I'm Mark. I'm Mitch. I'm Rusty. I'm Clifford. Say it! I'm barefoot. <laughs> okay, we're going to have an alligator race here as we're ending this show. Three, two, one. Ah, barefoot <laughs> cheated! <laughs> I won. You don't know how to count down here.